I must admit, I dislike the hardship of confession. I avoid grief. I don't like painful moments of regret. I don't like thinking about my sin. I want to follow you, but free from the need to admit failure. Your grace is in a back room, under the table, secret handshake deal you've made with me, where you gloss over my sin and I'll walk away relieved. You didn't make a deal. You endured the cross. You wouldn't call sin nothing when sin is a big, dark, horrible, rebellious, destructive, idolatrous, self-aggrandizing, law-hating, death-producing something. Any deal you would make would empower the enemy, encourage falsity, violate your holiness, negate your justice, crush your grace. Rather than a backroom deal, you went public on a hill outside the city where criminals die. You put the ravages of sin, my sin, on display. In a moment of gross injustice and public torture, you hung between heaven and earth, suspended there by justice and grace. You not only took the thorny crown, the hard-driven nails, the sword to the side, you carried my sin and the rejection of your father as life seeped out of you. You weren't accepting sin's victory. You were declaring sin's defeat. There is no denial permitted at the foot of your cross. The nails don't allow me to think sin is nothing. Your tomb opposes any notion that sin is okay. Your suffering and death causes me to do what is unnatural for me. To grieve. To mourn. To regret. To confess. To come out of hiding. To admit my need for your grace. To repent. and to do all these things again and again with the knowledge that a debt paid is better than a bad deal. Sin forgiven is better than sin ignored. Grace given is better. 